Springtime is here and the pond monsters are biting. We started off the video with an absolute unit and had to fight for some more bites. But we didn't give up and you won't believe what we hooked into. That's a big, big and Oh my gosh. What the f was that, bro? Springtime is on its way. It has to be probably the most beautiful day I've been fishing this year. It is a wonderful 68 degrees outside and I'm so excited to get after fishing, guys. We're at some ponds today. We're gonna be hunting for some of these giants. My strategy on how I fish these ponds going forward into the springtime is going to change from how we've been fishing them. And uh, I'm just excited to be out here. It's just beautiful weather, little to no wind. The sun is out. And uh, I am just pumped that springtime is on its way and the fishing is just only gonna get better from here on out. This is the small pond that we're at today. And this is the one that actually connects to a whole nother side. And it opens up a little bigger here once you get past that big tree. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of you all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. We're really gonna be doing whatever it takes to catch the biggest fish possible. So we might hit two spots today. We might hit five spots, we might hit 10, and we might end up hitting a bunch of spots that we haven't hit before. So let's go ahead and hop into this video. I wanna show you guys what I'm rigging up, and then we're gonna get after fishing, and we're gonna hook some giants. So let's hop into it, baby. So we brought a bunch of different tackle out today. We have two Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose combos. If you guys wanna check them out, they're available on my website, kickingtheirbass.com. They'll be linked down below, but we have two different combos. We have a tackle box and a bunch of different baits. We're gonna be sitting pretty simple today as far as the baits that we throw. We're gonna be rocking some chatter donks today. This is a white and chartreuse. We got another white one right here. We have some of these striking rage swimmers that we can throw on the back of those. This tackle box is from one of the recent videos. I got a wide assortment of Senko, some bigger worms, a couple more chatter donks, a spinner bait, and a slack jaw by Mach. And then we have some Texas rig weights and hooks. And obviously, boys, we got the scale. We're gonna be catching some giants today, so we might as well have that with us. Well, let's go ahead and start rigging up. So I think this is what my game plan is gonna be. On this rod right here, I already have a pretty basic Texas rig. I'm actually gonna keep this on this rod as far as my second bait caster goes, I think I'm gonna rig up a chatter donk on that rod. So that is the game plan. Let's go ahead and get tied up and start casting. So we're gonna start off by actually retying this Texas rig. I wanna trust my knot guys, but you know, we were fishing with this last week and I think it's best if we just spend about a minute and retie. I'll tell you guys, I have learned the hard way of not retying. And retying is a very important part of fishing if not you're probably going to get your heart broken and we do not want our heart broken today we want to try to land as many of these fish as possible and hopefully not have any break off incidents just tiny i want the standard uni knot i got a quarter ounce bullet weight and the hook i'm using is a three aught extra wide gap hook so pretty clean and basic nothing too crazy and uh, the crawl that we got on is just a standard black and blue swirl rage crawl as far as this second rod goes, this is gonna be our moving bait rod. So pretty much what I'm doing is one of my rods is gonna have a bottom bait, one of them's gonna have a moving bait, because at the end of the day, the weather's really nice, but we still have to figure these fish out. We don't know exactly what they're doing. They could be slamming a moving bait today, or they might not even want a moving bait. They could be just slamming the soft plastic. And that is why we have two different combos with us today, because we're just gonna be experimenting, figuring out what these fish want, and just learning as the day goes on. As far as the trailer on the chatter donk, as I said, we're gonna be whipping out one of these rage swimmers. Oh yeah, look at that. There is not a better combo, a better looking combo out there. That looks perfect. Okay, so now that we got our moving bait and our crawl rigged up, it is time to start casting in the water. Figuring these fish out, we're gonna take our pliers with us and also our scale, we'll keep both of these. Actually, I'll just keep the scale here because I'm gonna fish this corner real quick. Let's get the fishing. I'm gonna give you a little rundown on what we're thinking. You know, I don't know, I haven't fished where I'm at in a good couple weeks. I don't know what these fish are doing. For all I know, they could already be staging up to get on bed, which is crazy to think about. Once we figure out a pattern, we can kind of dial in and we'll know exactly what's going down. But as of right now, we're gonna start off with this rage curl. 
And as far as looking at the banks, I don't see anything that would indicate that these fish are getting on the move to start spawning. I think we're a little early where I'm at. Where I was last week, whole different story. Those fish were primed and ready. But that's why I had this itch because I was like, man, these fish were moving up so fast where I was. It's not too far for where, from where I'm fishing right now. But every body of water fish is different. We're going to switch up to that chatter donk. We're going to fan cast it just a little bit. If we get no bites in the next, let's say, five minutes, we're going to keep on moving. We're going to hop to the back section of the pond. It's where it opens up, and that's where I've had most of my luck for the big ones. Look at that, man. That looks spicy. I just cannot believe we didn't even get the slightest nibble. Well, guys, that's what we need to do. We need to keep on traveling down and uh, work down towards this open end. That's where we've been catching the giants. There's not a part of me right now that just thinks that they're not biting. Just because we don't catch them or smoke them in this spot, which I think we will over here. I think we're going to get a couple big bites. But even if we don't catch 10 in this pond, that doesn't mean that we can't hit another pond today and slam 20 fish and five of them be giants. There's like another part of me that's like, maybe the baits I'm throwing, they just don't want. But I just don't think we've given it, given it enough time. There we go, that, that's, that was a crazy bite, dude. That was an insane bite, and that was the first official bite of today. All right, guys, we're switching back up to the rage crawl. I'm gonna try to slow down here. I know there's fish in this area, I've seen a good bit of swirls. It's just really getting them to bite. They might be playing a little weird today. We just gotta figure them out. Right at the end of that pipe. There's gotta be one there. Come on. That's a big. That's a big. That is a monster, dude. It's an absolute tank. Oh my gosh! Come on, baby. Trying to keep that pressure. Yeah, that is a mega. First fish is a freaking giant. Oh my gosh, she's a monster, dude. Every bit of a six pounder, six plus pounder. Oh, she's barely hooked. Come here, baby. Oh my gosh, she's barely hooked. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, boys. Look at that fish. That is every bit of a six pounder. Oh my gosh. Look at that fish, dude. Look at that freaking monster. <laughs> Look at that, boys. That is a tank right there, man. Let's get her on the scale. Our first fish today is an absolute brute. We had one bite, didn't get her pinned, and then hook this tank. Here we go, guys. Oh my God, yes, she's oh, five pounds, 14 ounces, two ounces short of a six pounder. We're gonna call her a six. I don't know, that's close. Five pounds, 14 ounce, or absolute donkey, guys. First bite today, guys, six pounder. Her first fish today. I think that's a good sign for an amazing day. Thank you, baby. Oh, when I saw, look at that. <laughs> Dude, that is sick. I cannot believe it, guys. First fish, six pounder? Like, are you serious? <laughs> We really starting off today's video like that? That fish was about five foot off the bank. She wasn't all the way up on there. Yeah, I drug it about five foot off that pipe that's going in the water there. And that is just a textbook spot for a big fish. And she was there. What's happening, boys and girls, ladies and gents? It is the next day. We had a few things roll up now and we just couldn't finish out fishing the other day. So we're back at it today. We had an incredible start. Our first fish was a six pounder. It is possible right now to catch some really big fish. The springtime is coming up and we're going back out there today to see what we can hunt down. We're gonna be going to some different areas and hopefully we can land some fish even bigger than six pounds. I'm feeling really good about it. But we're gonna go ahead and head out to this next spot, see what we can get into today. It's actually two days since uh, we, we caught that fish. So I'm hoping they're gonna be biting a little better. We already know the big girls are out, guys. So let's go ahead and put our heads down today, start hunting. We're gonna hit a bunch of different places and see what we can throw together. 
All right, we are at our first spot today. We have this really small canal. It is looking saucy, guys. This is a place that I don't fish often. It's honestly been years since I've thrown in here, but there's some really big bass in this spot. And I just think, you know, this time of year, if these fish are pushing up shallow, this could be an area to find some really big fish. I got a rage crawl still, just a simple Texas rig on my kicking their bass TVX loose setup. And uh, we're just gonna be casting around and, and trying to figure out what these fish are doing today. It's been a couple days, so I'm hoping uh, these fish are gonna be up on the banks and actually eating. But we're gonna fan cast around a little bit and just try to figure some things out. Get some data on what the fish are doing and uh, I've already got a bite and he's walking with it. Oh, that is uh, ridiculous. Did he come off? He did. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly feel so bad. I didn't expect a dang five inch bass to eat that on my first cast. Yeah, that, that just happened, but uh, let's lock in here, guys. I can't believe I got a bite on my first cast and it happened to be like a five incher. I did not mean to sling him into outer space. Oh my gosh. That could have been really bad. That could have been so bad. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna let you know. <laughs> I just hook set. And this bait about went through the windshield of a dang Tesla. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. If I didn't stop that bait midair, it was gonna hit the top of that car. All right, we're gonna walk out to this other pond. This canal is just not, I don't know. It's not hidden. Boys and girls, I had my dang camera on. I thought I had my camera on. I had my camera on, but it just wasn't recording. And I threw my first cast. It was right there next to that tree. And this thing was just flowing down by that tree. All of a sudden I felt boom, one hard hit. I could see him walking to the right. So I reel down, I go and hook set and that fish just ain't even there, man. And I'll tell you what I was talking about in the moment was right now in the springtime, we're, we're heading into early spring. And these fish are pushing up shallow. There's always a stage very early where you'll notice these fish, they come up and they hit your bait. And, I, and I'm not just talking like a little nibble. They are hammering your bait and they're dragging it off. And all of a sudden you go and hook set and you won't catch anything. And you're probably wondering why is that happening? It's because all they're doing is grabbing the back of this bait and just toting it away from the bank. So these fish are pushed up right now. They're getting ready to bed, but they're just in that weird stage of not wanting to eat. Does that mean we're not gonna catch fish today? No, that is not what that means at all. But is it gonna be tricky on certain bites? Yes. You know, I have a problem with thinking, okay, I did something wrong there. Maybe I could have hooked set earlier. Maybe I could have waited even longer. But at the end of the day, whether I hook set earlier or wait longer, if that fish doesn't have the bait in his mouth, he's not gonna get hooked. I'm gonna be honest, boys, I'm not even feeling it. But there is another side of this canal right here maybe there's some fish on this side i to actually eat my dang bait we're gonna throw a couple casts here and then we're just gonna keep on moving we don't need to get too stuck on uh spots today there he is he broke me off dude i'm talking the picture perfect cast money zone right by that tree and completely just snapped my line and i'm going to be honest we're going to learn a lesson here guys i had a slight fray in my line that right there is nothing more than my fault and that's my punishment right there is not catching that dang fish and who knows how big that fish was that felt like a really good bite felt some good weight when i leaned up on him and who knows he could have been a dang pound but i just feel like that spot everything about that right there just seemed like a big and should have been there we're rigging up a rage crawl again and this is one of my favorite colors in the springtime it's got chartreuse on the bottom end it's got green pumpkin on the top and this is just one of my go-to's this is honestly my favorite color of all time in the rage that is it right there yeah spicy all right, let's get back to casting. I'm actually going to make a cast in that same spot just because, I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky and he'll bite it again. It's just an angry fish. Probably not going to happen because he's got a hook in his mouth already. But it is worth a shot. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, dude, he followed me out. This bank might be loaded, guys. And this fish is, might bite it again. I just started to reel it in there and he just slammed it one hard time. Come on, fish. Yeah. 
There he is. Not a big one. Maybe that eases our mind a little bit more. That bite was, was not good though. There we go guys, first fish at this pond. It wasn't a crazy bite like those other ones, but still a beautiful fish, about a pounder. Thank you, baby. There she goes. All right, guys, we're gonna keep moving. We might just have to come back to some of these fish later. All right, we're at a pond that we've never been to before. We're gonna give it a little shot here. I don't know what to expect. I don't even know if there's fish in here, but it looks pretty saucy. Some good rocks over there in that corner. That looks so good. I love how that bank kind of divots in there. You got a bunch of rocks and concrete as well. Oh, there we go. Oh, I just got bit. Might've been by something small. I threw it in there and there's a bunch of little swirls and I got a fish. Oh, he came off. Dude, they are just hitting this thing and not eating it, dang it. Come on now. There he is. There he is. And that is not, oh, that is a bass. Oh my gosh, I was about to say, what is that? I thought that was a giant bluegill. And that is not a big fish, but hey man, that is a dang bass and beautiful colors on that fish. Look how fat he is for the size. Man, that is pretty. There's definitely more in this pocket. Let's see if we can get back in there and catch a bigger one. Thank you, buddy. That thing was tiny. Well guys, we're gonna throw a couple more casts and then we're just gonna keep on moving. At least we had a couple bites in this pond and we know there's fish in here. Not a big one, but hey, it was a fish. Alrighty, we had a new spot and we are ready to lock it in, guys. I'm tired of messing around. We need to figure out something and we're changing up a little bit. We still have our Texas rig tied on this bait caster, but I moved over to a chatter donk, okay? And we're gonna start covering a little bit more water. We've had a good bit of bites on the Texas rig, but we're just not getting those fish to commit. I'm starting to think, you know, hey, if I throw this chatter donk, we'll be able to cover a little bit more water and we might be able to get some more of those bites that actually hold on to the bait. So we're gonna try it out for a little bit, cover some water here. Let's just put our heads down and see if we can get something rolling here. This dog should stop barking, it's so nice out. Just don't, no, no, mm-mm. Nothing over here. Let's keep walking down. I just want a dang bite, boys. Come on. It ain't too much to ask. We gonna run to the other side. Sometimes this pond can be weird. All right, boys and girls, little change in plans. There's a lady uh, talking to her Pomeranian. And uh, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm done with the bark talk. I'm not doing it right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to the other side of town. We're gonna hit some big fish places. That was a big fish place, which I was surprised that we just couldn't buy a bite. We are so close to this springtime, just snapping off and going crazy. I just feel like we're a few days too early, um, but we're gonna run to some ponds that I know have monsters in it. The only question is, can we get them to bite the bait? And can we get them to bite it and actually hold on to it? Just letting y'all know, I am not giving up. We're gonna keep on pushing and until we find these fish and we smoke them and we put a butt whooping down so let's go ahead and get out to this next spot all right guys we are locking in right now i see a huge boil and we gotta like play this weird here he ate it yes yes what did i say we're about to lock it in man not a big one but oh my goodness we literally just pulled up and I don't think this is the fish that was boiling, guys. We're gonna pitch this back in there with this fish in our hand. That wasn't the same fish, dude, it's still boiling. We're gonna get this fish back in the water. We're gonna walk way wide here. Not a big one, but that's a good start at this pond. And I'm feeling it, guys. I just feel like there's another fish right here and I don't wanna spook him. If I would've walked up there, any of those other fish would have just swam right off. I'm gonna tell you right now too, if we would have just walked down this bank and started fishing, we wouldn't have been able to catch that fish. The crazy part is look at the spot that he was sitting. I mean, look how shallow in this little crevice here. <laughs> that is just unreal, man. 
Well, we're throwing the same bait. We've got a little rage crawl on the Texas rig. Got the chatter dunk on from the last pond. And we're about to lock it in, boys. So stay tuned. It's about to get crazy. I haven't got revenge on this pipe since I lost a the fish there about eight months ago. But today's the day, man. I'm gonna tell you, I haven't felt too good about fishing since we've been out, but I'm feeling it now. Oh, there's a big boil. Yeah, it dirty hit me. Oh my gosh. I saw a little boil and then he thumped it one hard time, just never had it. I just have a weird feeling that was a big fish too. Let's, let's try this real quick before we keep walking. Can't go wrong with the chatter donk. Maybe this will entice her to come out and eat. Look at the boy, dude. Look at the boy. Oh, God, he's schooling on that fish. Dude, there was multiple. That was a school of fish, dude. That was a school of fish. There was another boil right out. That fish was just eating bait. No. What is happening? We're going to make a couple casts out there towards this point, and then we're going to shift gears, go towards the other corner of the pond down here. I had the perfect bait. Just if I would have picked up my rod two seconds before that happened, I probably would have caught it. Biggin. Oh yeah. Man, he's not a giant, but he's a decent fish. That fish felt so big. Fish got me going berserk here. It's a good two and a half pounder though. Heck yeah. There we go, boys. Get us a good two pounder here. To start off, we got one to bite. We got him to bite the chatter donk, man. Heck yeah. This fish got me out of whack, man. I thought this was like a four pounder. Thank you, buddy. This a little two pounder. And there we go. That is our second fish at this pond so far. We've had some more bites, saw some swirls, saw some fish chasing bait. We're in the right location. We just got to hunker down here and keep on fishing, baby. That fish was right off that point, just about right there. He's about five to eight foot off that point. And he ate that thing good. It wasn't like he just slapped it. That's what I was hoping with this chatter dong bite. I was like, if we can get a bite to where they can actually commit, then that's the goal. But I'm having a hard time believing there's just one fish after seeing this fish come off there. So let's keep on casting here for a second. Oh, what was that? I think that fish ran into my line. That was the weirdest feeling I've ever felt. I was really my bait. All of a sudden I feel like this, like he's just shaking my bait, but I'm pretty sure he was riding on the edge of my line. So when I hooked that, I just went across his back there. I don't know what the heck's going on. I don't know if that was a bait fish or a small bass, but it wasn't big. <laughs> so weird, man. Big boil. Mm. let's go dude now that's a two and a half pounder these fish are chasing bait dude i cannot believe it eating that dang white chatter donk and that is a beautiful bass right there dude easy two and a half pounder thank you baby i saw her big old boil behind that bait and we are on board guys we are catching them got some real good bites caught the fish capitalized it is happening I'll tell you, the one thing we changed at this pond and everything else is we just had the right attitude, guys. And now we're locking in. We haven't got any of those big giants that we want yet. But all we have to do is just keep on fishing. We threw some of these small guys and we might end up hooking into some scary, scary big bass today. All right, guys, we're going to keep walking down. I've had most of my big fish luck on this side of the lake. And while they're biting, I kind of want to get down here and start casting see if we can hook something i have a weird feeling about this pocket in the back corner i just have a feeling on how these fish have been staging up positioning that that spot could be insane all right guys we made it to this side oh my god i landed on his freaking head dude i knew there was gonna be some fish up there something just hit right here too Dang it, dude. I sat there and threw that crawl up there to try to be subtle. I was having to throw that thing right on his dang melon. I'm talking right on his head. The timing of that is unreal. 
maybe the fish wasn't up there when i threw the curl i mean i just picked this up started fan casting out here that's unfortunate on to the next all right you guys know where i am and it's time to get some revenge man we're gonna go ahead and set up down here there's a lot of fish in the middle and i'm ready to hook a couple six seven eight pounders Oh, big boy. You running with it? Biggin. Biggin. Please stay there. Please stay there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that fish, dude. It's another six pounder, baby. Oh my gosh. We tried all day for this. That is so pretty. That's a five pounder. I don't know if she's six. There we go. Oh, she's close to five. Four pounds, 10 ounces, man. We'll take it. A little over four and a half. And that is the fish we came here for. Let's get this beauty back in the water. Thank you, baby. That is what we waited for all day long. I have a feeling we're about to catch another one. There she goes what a beast man we have been confident we, we've kept our confidence all day things weren't going our way we didn't give up and we kept fishing and uh we're not going to be done yet guys we're going to make some more casts here we might be able to catch another giant oh my gosh here we go oh she came off See, she did exactly what those other ones did. I threw up there, she ticked it, started running, and just barely had the bait. Let's see if she'll bite again. That's just a tough little deal, guys. When you're not getting many bites and you get a bite and you're finally like, oh my gosh, I'm about to catch her. And then just nothing until she bites it again. Oh. So the one thing that I've learned today, at least being at this pond in particular, and this is obviously a given and something you always do and look for. But every bite that I've had in this pond, besides the chatter donk bite, but that pipe bite, boom, six pounder, the tree in the corner, boom, five pounder, that little tiny tree on the bank, and it's not even in the water, but it's almost like it just cast a little bit of shade on the water. Boom, got a bite there. Anything that's been like direct and by any sort of cover or something in the water. I mean, there's there's been a fish every time and there's not, and that's the problem with this. All those spots in this pond are very isolated. That looks money. What the f was that, bro? Guys, I have never been fishing and just had chills run down my whole body. That terrified, dude, that lady just screamed bloody freaking murder. I don't know if it was about her pet or what, I don't know. But I felt kind of bad because I don't want to be like, oh, what's up, you know, are you okay? I don't want to be looking in somebody's house, you know what I mean? Like, I don't ever watch anybody, but that freaked me out, bro. Like, she did it and then she was fine. So I was like, all right, I'm not going to say anything. But dude, that, like, I literally have chills down my body right now. I've had some weird things happen while fishing, bro. That was up there, man. Let's lock back in. I want to be shaking because of a fish, not because of something else. Oh. There she is. Oh my gosh. That one's not even that big. That's a two and a half pounder now. That's a good fish. We salvaged this day back up, man. Cannot complain. Here we go. Two and a half pounder, man. We've had to slow down, but we got it going. Finally, just putting something together as the day's ending here. All right, boys, we're back on the front end, and we're gonna see if there's some on this side. We haven't fished this how we fish the back side, so I kind of want to try it now. Because we just came in here, we threw that chatter donk a good bit. And we had that whole dang jump scare, dude. And I was like, let me get out of here, but I'm coming back. And we're going to try to throw around just a few more here because we might be able to get, I just have a feeling we can get a five, six pounder. Oh, 
There's one around the edge of that tree. Come on, fish. I didn't stick him, he just had the back end of it. That one didn't feel big, but then again, some of them bed fish, they bite like that. Yeah. Oh, it is a nice one, look at that. I mean, it's a two pounder, two and a half. Oh my gosh. I mean, he was biting like he was dang six inches, dude. That was a good fish. He actually ate the bait too, like he didn't give me a problem. Wow, beautiful. Another two pounder, man.